you. Uh, yeah, um, Thomas, uh, that's my name. We met earlier today, and I've been there all day. Uh, we got to work with Scott Holm, and Scott Holm is um, possibly one of the most exciting archaeological sites in uh, Scandinavia, at least if you are a Stone Age buff. Um, but it's an extremely boring place when you get there today, because you can't see anything. So, <coughs> we uh, early on decided we need augmented reality or virtual reality. Um, and um, Um, and to facilitate that, you need to have a smartphone or an iPad or, in this short future here, uh, virtual reality glasses or something like that. Uh, <coughs> and when you get to the point, get to the place, you go to the starting point and uh, have a QR code and that starts this adventure. Um, a ghost appears. Scott Holm is a Stone Age settlement, but also a graveyard. And this ghost needs help to go back into the grave and needs to collect grave goods. And you need to help them do that. Um, <clears throat> and you need to do that by moving around in the area. And as you do that in your uh, tech, in your media, in your smartphone, or whatever you use, you see the um, Stone Age environment. And you do different tasks, like, for example, um, hunt, or uh, make a fire, or things like that. When you've done all the tasks, you are to uh, find the actual place where this person uh, was buried. And then you need to deposit it and also deposit something of your own. That is, uh, underneath the ground there is a buried uh, kist or treasure vault and there's a pipe with which you insert the object from our time. And that way we we'll also start to build um, a further treasure trove for the future time capsule. <clears throat> Anybody else in the group wants to add something? <laughs> no? Sorry for that, with the tech issues. Um, thank, you. thank you so much. I should say, uh, of course, there are approximately 100 per people buried on this site. Uh, what you could do is, is make uh, several individuals, so you can actually revisit the place and go a different uh, tour or solve different problems. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, feedback. We have a feedback panel that have new fresh eyes on their ideas that can... Uh, I think it sounds very interesting. Uh, and I like that, that you can go several tours, that you can go back and, and, and do something else there. But I wonder, do you have to have, um, to mark it in any way? Or how do you do it? Do you just have that open field? Or do you have to, to build something? Or the only thing you need to build is the starting point. And that is more or less post the QR code. Uh, the, the whole idea is this is an archaeological site and during the excavations uh, they, they, were, they documented everything and you can georef reference it back to the actual place where everything has been excavated so you can actually <coughs> find the exact spot where this uh, individual's grave were. And that's what you do in the virtual reality part. So the only thing you need is a starting point. And somewhere where you will download the app or whatever. Thank you. Uh, we have some time limits 
for everybody to succeed to tell their projects. So we will have maybe time for two questions and basically you will have two minutes to make people interested to talk more about your projects after the presentation. And so one other, maybe Andre wants to say? Uh, Something short? Yeah, I just wrote down, I, I like this the gaming part, in it, the gaming uh, thing that's more playful and uh, it should uh, make it possible to cooperate in, in small teams as well. Um, I also like the, um, the idea of uh, passing on things to the future as well, opens up for some reflections as well. Uh, and I think this should be technically feasible to actually make them true. You seems like you'd be thinking like the, the point of entry is quite easy to, to join in. We will do like this. We will move this table because it's kind of off. So here we go. So we take you into the light. Um, and uh, everyone that have been presenting, please stay with us. So if we have questions, that it's easy to hand over the mic uh, back and forth. And uh, we have a short reply and then it's time for the next. So we have uh, the, the next speaker can prepare and be here.